Welcome to the Cardinal Minute with your host and chair of the University of Louisville Department of Medicine, Dr. Kim Williams. Good morning and welcome to a Cardinal Minute. I'm Dr. Kim Allen Williams, chair of medicine at University of Louisville, and it was our pleasure this morning to hear a wonderfully insightful, very biochemical um, uh, lecture talking about how we can change things for our cardiac patients. It was delivered by Dr. Stephen Jones, who is professor of medicine and director of our Center for Cardiometabolic Science, uh, and he is our university scholar at the University of Louisville. And his discussion surrounded the intersection of metabolism and inflammation in ventricular remodeling. Dr. Jones, thank you so much. Can you give us a one-minute summary of your talk? Sure. Uh, the take-home message from our discussion this morning was, number one, all the opportunities that we have to partner together, uh, both uh, from the clinic and from the laboratory side, uh, but a bit more on the scientific side and specific insights. The take-home message was that metab metabolic changes that occur in the heart, specifically in fibroblasts, cause changes to the composition of the heart. These uh, changes to the composition of the heart actually will impact the immune response which could then impact uh, long-term ventricular remodeling uh, in the myocardium. We think that these implications need to be further explored to uh, identify targetable, actionable, druggable uh, targets so that we can then translate those into patients to uh, eliminate or attenuate the scourge of infarct-induced heart failure. Well, thank you so much. It's uh, really good to know that people are working on it so that there is hope. We spend most of our time working on prevention, but it's just not taking as, as hold as quickly. So we really need all of the mechanisms that you've uh, discussed this morning to come to fruition so we can help our patients uh, after they sustain some myocardial damage. So thank you so much, Dr. Jones. And thank you to our audience. This has been a Cardinal Minute.